1. The Burial of Saint Cecilia Until the 14th century, Cecilia was not associated with any musical instrument. But as we have known since part 1 of the series, Saint Cecilia was chosen by the Christian Church and Music Associations as the patron of music. We have learned that Cecilia was a girl from Rome who was baptized into Christianity by Bishop Urban. As a young woman she was married against her will to the pagan Valerian. During her wedding, she sang to God alone in her heart, asking to preserve her purity. With the help of an angel, she was able to preserve her virginity. At the end of the Passio, she is killed for her Christian faith in the bathroom of her own house. Urban, who has already baptized her as child, will also bury her. There is no connection between music and Cecilia in her passion story. Perhaps we will find a trace to music at her tomb. Where did Urban bury Cecilia? At the end of the Passion, Cecilia is buried by Bishop Urban. According to the Passio, she is buried in the catacombs of Callisto, outside Rome. There she is buried. Inter collegas suos. This means that she was buried in a crypt, with, or next, to the colleagues of Bishop Urban. The location of the tomb of Cecilia, in the Callisto catacombs, is indeed mentioned several times, in later reports as a pilgrimage spot. 2. Catacombs of Rome Information about the Catacombs of Rome that is important to understand the story of St. Cecilia. Burial sites within the city limits were banned in ancient Rome. One of the ancient Roman practices was to cremate the human body and then store the remains in a pot, urn, or ash box, stored in what is known as a columbarium. There were also communal necropolises, burial cities, where communal graves or individual family graves were erected, and large mausoleums or monuments, which were built along major roads like the Via Appia. The first Christians, on the other hand, preferred a physical burial. In the first century the Christians buried their dead, in pagan cemeteries, outside the city walls. In the second century, the Christians adopted the Jewish tradition, of burying their dead in catacombs. In the 3rd century, in the time when Cecilia lived, Emperor Valerian made an edict banning the Christian funeral cult and the burial of their dead in above-ground cemeteries. This left the Christians with only the underground cemeteries, known at the time as crypti. Cryptes were built on the most important Roman roads. In the 4th century C, the persecutions ended, and Christianity became the state religion. The underground catacombs were no longer necessary as hiding places, but they continued to be used and expanded until the 5th century. The catacombs continued to be used as places of pilgrimage where martyrs and popes were worshipped. From the 5th to the 8th century, the catacombs were repeatedly devastated and looted. As the burial sites outside the city walls were no longer safe, new laws now allowed burials within the city walls. In the 8th and 9th centuries, the popes began to transfer the relics of the martyrs and popes to churches within the city walls. The tombs in the catacombs began to fall into disrepair, and many were forgotten. The rediscovery of many ruined catacombs began in the 16th century. Systematically and scientifically researched by Antonio Bozio and Giovanni Battista de Rossi. 3. Callisto Catacomb The Callisto Catacomb were built around the middle of the 2nd century CE. It was the first catacomb only for the Christian community of Rome. The catacomb is located in the southeast of Rome, between the Via Appia Antica and the Via Ardiatina.
The entire area is several hectares in size, and has several levels, with several kilometers of underground corridors. The name comes from Pope Calixtus I, who was the first administrator of the catacombs, when he was still a deacon. After he became Pope, he enlarged the complex. The Callisto catacombs became one of the largest underground burial systems in Rome, where many martyrs and 16 popes were buried. The oldest and most important parts of the Callisto catacomb include the Crypt of the Popes and the Crypt of St. Cecilia of Rome. 4. Crypt of the Popes The Crypt of the Popes is one of the oldest buildings in the Callisto catacombs. The crypt was created in early construction phase. A small corridor at the back leads to a second chamber, the Crypt of Cecilia. Several popes were buried here in the 3rd century, which later gave the crypt also the name Little Vatican. The crypt was redesigned by Pope Damasus in the 4th century. Light shafts and marble panels with inscriptions were installed. Giovanni Battista de Rossi rediscovered the crypt in the 19th century and explored it scientifically. Two drawings were published in his book series Roma Soterania. The first drawing shows how he found the chamber in the 19th century with all the destruction, devastation, and looting. The second drawing, in Roma Soterania, shows how de Rossi imagined the reconstruction of the crypt. It is the most sacred and important place in the Callisto Catacomb. Crypt of St. Cecilia We have finally reached the Crypt of St. Cecilia. The crypt is connected to the Crypt of the Popes. It is a cubicum duplex, a double crypt. Most scholars assume that the double crypt was built together. When Pope Damasus remodeled the papal crypt in the 4th century, the crypt of Cecilia was probably also redecorated. The vault was probably decorated with mosaics, of which only fragments have been found. According to Joseph Wilpert, the wall with the sarcophagus lot may also have been covered with white marble. When de Rossi rediscovered the crypt in the 19th century, he found illustrations of three people on the wall behind the papal crypt. The illustration of the woman at the upper part was probably originally a mosaic panel, which was replaced with the same motif a few centuries late. It shows a woman as Orons in paradise. The person at the bottom left shows the portrait of Christ. And the person on the right shows Urban, who is probably mentioned by name. The three people, the location of the sarcophagus lot, and other finds, combined with information from the Paseo of Cecilia, which is a legend, led to the young woman being identified as Saint Cecilia. Inter colegas suos. There she is buried, among or next to his colleagues.
the painting of three men on the bordering wall, shows, Polygamus, Sebastianus, and Quirinus. It is not yet clear exactly what they represent, and why they are in this crypt. Visit of Pope Pius IX, to Tomb of St. Cecilia, in Catacomb of Calixtus in Rome, Italy, 19th century. In this picture you can see wonderfully how the artist has integrated all the people from the frescoes into the painting. The visit of Pope Pius in the crypt of Cecilia probably took place in the 19th century. 6. The Mysterious Rediscovery of St. Cecilia But, where is the body, the relic of St. Cecilia gone? On the illustrations of the Cecilia crypt, in the 19th century, you only ever see an empty slot. As we already know, the catacombs outside Rome were repeatedly vandalized and looted, between the 5th and 8th centuries. This forced the relics of the martyrs and popes, to be moved to the city. To the churches within the city walls. Pope Paschal, started searching for the remains of St. Cecilia, in order, to transfer them to Rome. But the search was unsuccessful, the crypt was already empty in the 9th century. One path of Cecilia's relic, leads to Pavia, when it was the capital of the Lombards. The relic of Cecilia was claimed, by the monastery of San Marino, in Pavia. Aestulf, the king of the Lombards, is said to have captured the relic during the sieges of Rome, and donated it to the monastery in Pavia. The story of the relics of St. Cecilia could end here, in Pavia, but, it's just beginning. Cecilia's relics miraculously returned, in another catacomb. In the Libra Pontificalis it is reported, when Pope Paschalis went to the tomb of the Apostle in St. Peter's in the Vatican, on a Sunday morning, in the year 820, he sank into sleep. Then he saw a young woman in an angel's robe, next to him. The woman identified herself, as Cecilia Family Christi. Cecilia reports, that the Lombards were looking for her, but, she was not found. She asked Paschalis not to give up the search, for her relics. And indeed, Paschalis found the relic of Saint Cecilia, in the Predixtidus catacomb. So the relics were not in Pavia? An attempt is made to explain the situation, by saying, that the bodies were taken from the Callisto catacomb, to the Predixtidus catacomb, to protect them, from the plundering Lombards. However, Paschalis transferred the found relics of Cecilia to the Basilica of Santa Cecilia, in Rome Trastevere. The new Basilica of Santa Cecilia was planned by Paschalis himself around 819, and stands on the spot of the former home of St. Cecilia, where she experienced her materium, in her own bathing room. It is said, that parts of the bathing room, the place of Cecilia's martyrdom, are still preserved in the basilica. Before Paschalis buried the relics of Cecilia, under the altar of the basilica, he handed out some parts of the relics, to other churches. On the apse of the basilica, on a mosaic, Paschalis is shown as the builder of the basilica, and Saint Cecilia next to him. If you are not yet completely confused, you can prepare yourself, for the next miracle of Cecilia, in part 3 of the series. 700 years later, Cecilia's coffin was opened in the basilica, 
and an intact body was found. Stefano Maderno, an Italian sculptor, made a statue of Cecilia as she was found in the coffin. The statue is located in the basilica, below the apse, in front of the altar. If we now look at current pictures of the crypta of Cecilia, in the Callisto catacomb, we see the same statue on the first burial place of Cecilia. The statue in the Callisto catacomb is a copy from the statue of Stefano Maderno that was probably placed here around 1920 with the inscription in memory of Edith Cecilia McBride of New York, USA. But we still have no connection between Cecilia and music or musical instruments. Let's follow the trail of Cecilia to the Basilica of Santa Cecilia, where her relics were brought in the 9th century.